Hey, what's up, guys? So I, I'm getting a code uh, on my scanner saying that my left hand rear wheel speed sensor is faulty, and I, I actually confirmed that by uh, looking at data list by running the car. I don't see any reading on on this side and I've also verified that there's no no problem with the rings all the rings seems to be intact here so this sensor is faulty I'm gonna go ahead and replace it <sighs> good thing I have a uh, I have the old uh, differential when I bought this differential it came with a sensor so the old one that I have <clears throat> that's what I'm gonna put on here see if that clears the code alright so basically uh, here is the connector here that's the connector so I'm gonna pry that up and disconnect it from the connector and then yeah start removing the uh, Looks like a 12 mil, uh, 12 mil bolt here, and on the other side. <clears throat> I'm gonna get started. I'll start by removing that connector first. So they disconnected the connectors. So it's uh, it's held by it's held on by a clip onto the uh, subframe. There's also one here, which I'm gonna pry and try to film while I'm doing it. So I have a pry bar there. That's off. And all I have to do now is listen to two bolts for the sensors. Alright guys, so I got that cleaned up. Use the razor blade and a scotch bright to uh, make the final clean. And I've also cleaned this up a little bit. So now I'm going to apply some uh, RTB. Alright, so what I've noticed is that see, this is the connector and it clips onto the frame. The bottom one, this bottom connector, is the longer one that goes to the driver's side. So the shorter one, this will go to the passenger side. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip. I'm gonna go ahead and put the can the uh, the sensors in. I'm gonna get our TV and yeah, should be done. All right, so this is the driver's side. Get our TV surrounding sensor here. And I'm going to put this up here. From the top down.
There you go. Nice and snuggy. Done. I'm doing the other side too. It's the same procedure, so I'm not gonna show that. Yeah, the job's done. So I'm just gonna show you guys the uh, the, the installation finished product. So this one is supposed to clip in somewhere here in this hole. Thought I clipped it in earlier, but the clip is broken, so I'm gonna have to change that clip. The connector is in. The lines are routed nice. Sensors are tight and snuggy. That's the other one there. And yes, I'm gonna go ahead and erase the code and then I'm gonna go for a road test. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, so that's the code right there, C1102, and also the rear left hand sensor 1. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and erase all of these sense this fault, and I go for road test. I'll go ahead and do a road test, and uh We'll see and monitor the uh, ABS sensors if they're uh, reading fine now. Alright guys, so did a quick test, no more fault found. And I'm gonna go ahead and start the car because every time I start the car the slide comes back comes back on. So I'm gonna go ahead. Alright, so it looks like those lights are off and I'm gonna go for road test. And also at the same time, I'm gonna be um, monitoring the uh, the data list on the ABS. All right, guys. So I'm driving, and look at the data here. All the speed sensors are working now, and it's reading the uh, the speed of how how fast I'm going. All right. So that fixed the problem. Alright guys, as you guys can see, there's no more VDC light, slip light, and the ABS light on. I went for a good test drive and uh, apparently what was happening when I was using my, my, my scanner tool when I'm erasing it, it erased it but the lights are still on. Right, so I went, I went and uh, go ahead, did the road test, and then um, came back home, shut off the car, and turned the ignition back on. The lights went off, so <clears throat> that's the remedy, guys. I guess it needed to uh, recalibrate the sensors reading, so that's why you need to drive it after you you install the abs and erase the dtc go for a drive and turn the ignition off and then switch it on and that will confirm that the uh, the lights are off all right so all right guys so it's a done deal and uh if, if this video helps you out in any way don't forget to like subscribe for more videos coming up thank you guys Thank you.